Uh, it's great to have you here today. Can you briefly introduce yourself and your company to the viewers, please? Sure. I'm Kyle Sondlin. Mm -hmm. I am the CEO of Paxum. It is a layer one blockchain cool. specifically built for real world assets wow. from stable coins and, and tokenized fiat all the way through to commodities and securities like equities, stocks, real estate, wow. debt, everything in between. So is it listed on CEX? Well, we're actually not live with our token yet oh, okay. and the mainland net is in development now. Okay. So my background is all in the capital market side wow. of security tokens. And I realized there was a missing need in the market for mm -hmm. someone to actually build the solutions that could provide liquidity into the space. And mm -hmm. so about six months ago, we, we came out of stealth and said, we're, we're the ones building it and trying <laughs> to solve that problem. Okay. You mentioned about STO and RWA. Sure. Uh, I think some people are still confusing for both terms. Do you think, what's the main difference between STO and RWA? That's a really good question. Yeah. So RWA is, is kind of the umbrella term, the, okay. the broad term to okay. define any real world asset. Oh, all right. So anything that exists in the real world, mm -hmm. we could create a representation of it digitally, whether okay. that's to be used in a digital yeah. you know, game or something, or even just to track your mm -hmm. ownership of it. Mm -hmm. That could be a membership pass, that could be a piece of art, okay. or that could be ownership of an investment. Mm -hmm. Security tokens specifically refer to what is in capital markets called a security. And that yeah. doesn't mean like cyber security, it okay. means like an investment. Yeah. And so when we're talking about STOs, mm -hmm. you're usually talking about ownership in companies mm -hmm. like stocks yeah. or debt mm -hmm. and sometimes real estate depending okay. on how the structure is. So it oh, really right. comes down to some of the compliance. Okay, so RWA is the bigger category. That's right. right? Then for STO, what sectors or industry is most famous now in STO? Well, I think we've seen real estate mm -hmm. be the largest adopted industry. Okay. Because not only is real estate something physical mm -hmm. that people can understand and see and, and we all own houses, right? It's usually the first huge purchase you make yeah. is to own your home, yeah. right? So the idea to be able to buy real estate mm -hmm. in other places and not have to put in a hundred thousand yeah. or a million dollars, mm -hmm. being able to buy a thousand dollars worth of property somewhere mm -hmm. is an interesting idea. On the other side, they can be rented out and generate oh. you income. Okay. So you could own. So someone actually can live in the property. You would rent it to someone oh, okay. and get those dividends. So you maybe own a thousand dollars worth of the property, but mm -hmm. it pays you out ten bucks a month in rental income. Oh. So it's not only that you're owning this property, mm -hmm. which could increase in value, but you're actually getting that cash in wow. return as well. And so for someone in a country where maybe they their fiat or their, mm -hmm. their currency has inflation or something, if they were to own a property in a different place, they might get paid out in a different okay. currency that they might feel more comfortable in. Because mm. you know how there are many assets that we can invest in yeah. in this world? Sure. Then what's the most, um, important key to invest in STO? Well, as we talked about, the industry of security tokens mm -hmm. is quite broad. Yeah. And so I think most people get excited about the idea of mm -hmm. investing in early stage companies. Oh, okay. this, this opportunity of making a hundred times mm -hmm. their investment. They take a thousand dollars and they yeah. make a million dollars on it or, or, or you know, even more money potentially, mm -hmm. but they're very risky. And so yeah. with a security token, you are investing in an opportunity to make money, but it is so different depending on mm -hmm. what type of asset you're purchasing. Okay. If you're getting involved in, even in real estate, for mm -hmm. example, you have some companies that are, it's not even built yet. So they're trying yeah. to raise capital to build a hotel or mm -hmm. to build an opportunity versus you might buy into, there's something else that is already existing mm -hmm. and already has rental property. Yeah. So I think that with security tokens, mm -hmm. you want to treat it just like a, a real investor and be mindful about mm -hmm. the opportunity mm -hmm. and think about, is this an investment I would want to hold for mm -hmm. five or 10 years mm -hmm. as opposed to flipping and just trading in and trading out like yeah. a crypto or like a gamble or mm -hmm. something with a, with a real security. You're thinking, is this a potential for my retirement in the long term? Is this something that I really want mm -hmm. to own and I have faith in yeah. that requires some research that requires some trust. And I think those things are very important. You don't want okay. to just make a, a one yeah. second quick yeah. off the cuff purchase. That's true. 
then um, what do you think the opportunities in Korea's STO market? So Korea has an amazing opportunity okay. because it is a huge market mm -hmm. and it's, been, it's very fresh. The, the fortunate thing about yeah. some industries or some countries is that they tried to rush, jump into an opportunity mm -hmm. and weren't able to make it happen the right way. Mm. And I've had some wonderful meetings with some institutional oh. companies here and okay. some regulators here yeah. that are very much paying attention to oh, this industry and, and into this market, <laughs> yeah. but they are being mindful about taking mm. their time and being smart. And I think yeah. that that's a good idea. Okay. So I think that the good thing about the Korean market that I've seen so far mm -hmm. is that they are trying to build long-term sustainable solutions. And mm -hmm. I think that that's the right approach. Then what's, when is the best time to invest in SDO then, if we still have more time to go? Well, it comes down to the project or the opportunity that you're excited about. Mm. I was fortunate just before this interview to be yeah. watching Samson Mao speak on stage, okay. talking about Infinite Fleet, his, mm -hmm. his multiplayer online <laughs> video game, and they have a, yeah. a security token mm. where if you're a player of this game, you're a gamer, well look, you can invest. Mm. into the company yeah. and get exposure to the profits mm. that the company generates. Mm. So, I mean, I don't know about you, but I've certainly put a lot of hours into many video games in my life <laughs> and I've never gotten any exposure yeah. to it. Mm. I give them my money yeah. and my time, my time and get nothing yeah. out of it, right? Sure. And so I think that finding ways to align yourself with mm. the companies that you support is a really cool concept oh. behind STOs that is the, the future of the mm. opportunity. Yeah, it sounds very interesting. Then in your opinion, what does the future hold for the STO market in the next five to 10 years? So as I said, I think mm. that the idea of aligning the investor and the user or mm -hmm. the customer of a product is something that we're going to see closer and closer. Oh, okay. My expertise is in the US and it may be similar in the traditional public markets in Korea. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for a company to know who their shareholders are. Yeah. And so because of that, there's not a great way to connect with those people. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you have investors and you have customers mm -hmm. and those two segments are not combined. Yeah. And so what might be best for shareholders mm -hmm. may not be best for customers and yeah. vice versa. True. But if we can create solutions mm -hmm. where a customer is a shareholder, mm -hmm. now we can create solutions mm -hmm. that help both sides yeah. and create a more sustainable economy mm -hmm. for everyone. Then can you provide an example of a successful STO that your company has facilitated? So my previous business was security token market, mm -hmm. stomarket.com. Oh, okay. And we tracked mm. so many successful projects and security tokens mm -hmm. around the world. Yeah. And th there are many to count. INX, who's been here, has done a wonderful job mm -hmm. of creating a platform yeah. for companies all around the world to create security token mm -hmm. offerings and to participate in this economy, as mm -hmm. well as allowing investors to buy in which can be difficult. Yeah. We've also seen hotel chains like the St. Regis in Aspen, Colorado in the oh. US, where they actually sold shares of their hotel and shareholders of the hotel could redeem or at least get perks and benefits yeah. in the membership club mm. based off of how much they own. Which I thought was a really cool way of tying the investor into users of the mm -hmm. product. Again, as we talked about, which yeah. I think is the best way to tie everyone cool. together and, mm. and to build a more productive solution. Okay. Then for the last question, is there any advice you'd give to companies or investors who are new to this SEO industry? So, yes, there, <laughs> I, could, I could go on forever you can about talk for that. Hours, yeah. Certainly feel free to reach out to me. <laughs> that, that's maybe the first step. But yeah. I think the biggest thing is to focus on creating an investment that people actually want. Oh. The, the mm. tokenization is fun and it's new and it's novel and it yeah. does provide a lot of cool benefits. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, this is an investment in your company. Yeah. And so if people aren't going to want to invest in your company, mm. they're not going to want to buy it just because True. it's a token. Yeah. So making sure that we create really interesting but productive mm -hmm. and, and strong with, investments yeah, with is the, the big deal. It's not end. just a token yeah. you're throwing out mm -hmm. there and hoping anyone buys it. No, yeah. we want to create a really sure. solid investment. Product. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much for sharing your insights with Thank us you. today. Thank you for your time. Appreciate you having me. Thank you.